Hi, it's Jamie. I'm one of the librarians from the library. So we're going to take a little walk. So starting from the atrium, we're going to take these stairs and we're going to go up. Okay, so at the top of the stairs, we are going to make a left and we're going to go down the hallway. So this essentially is the upper path. So if we were to go to the right, down that way you would find the Haas administration suite. So you're going to find a lot of academic offices up there, like financial aid. Um, you're going to find student accounts, the registrar's office, those sort of things. So we're actually going in the opposite direction. So from this direction, we're gonna pass by the Dubuque and Iowa rooms. These are rooms that students utilize for studying and also for like meetings and such. So this is the new main entrance to the library. So, uh, Essentially, this room used to be known as the Rare Book Room, and it still is known as the Rare Book Room, but we've kind of converted it a bit over to some some places for uh, people to kind of hang out, maybe take a little break in between classes. So coming in through this way, we are now at the upper floor of the library. So this is the library's floor. Um, if you were to go down these stairs, you would land on the main floor, which is a lot of study space. And also there is a computer lab on that floor, kind of over to this side. If you were to go all the way down to the lower floor, you're going to run into the Lingen Technology Commons. Uh, so you're gonna find group study spaces down there. You're gonna find classroom spaces down there. So that's where you'd find LTC one, two, and four. You were also gonna find the academic support center. So that's where you would go for tutoring or for the writing center, uh, first year writing, advising, career services, accommodations. There's a whole lot going on down there in that space. So we're gonna continue on in our little walk here. We're gonna come over here to this side. So uh, you're gonna find a couple of these rooms right automatically. So these are like small study carols that students can utilize if they wanna study on their own. So you'll find two of those automatically. We're gonna come around the corner. You're gonna find another one tucked right back in there. These two doors here go to the Dubuque and Iowa rooms from the other side. This is the Mississippi room. So the Mississippi room, another place perhaps for studying. Uh, and then we're gonna kinda make the turn here and we're gonna go right by the library help desk. So this is where I hang out for the most part. Um, if students have questions related to searching for things, if they need help researching for a, um, project or a presentation or anything sort of like that, or they just have questions, um, they can come ask me. We're going to step into our new quiet study space. So this space, it's got kind of a couple rooms. So there's a room on each side. So a room on this side, and if we pan all the way over, a room on that side. So both of those rooms, you can shut the door. Uh, kind of do whatever you need to study, um, kind of have that space uh, where you can just kind of like shut yourself off and get your work done. Um, and then the tables that are out here are also quiet study. So everything in this room is kind of for quiet individual study. So if you are in here, it's because you want to get work done. So we're going to have you, you know, silence your phones and your devices. You're going to take conversations outside of this room. So if you're in this room, you're not having conversations 
with your friends. This is really a room for you to just like buckle down and get whatever you need done. Okay, so we're gonna take a turn by the uh, by the book shelving. So uh, looking kind of down in this direction, you'll notice there's a lot of tables. So these tables, uh, you can definitely come in here and hang out and and study, get a nice view, looking out the window, a little bit of sunshine. And if we turn the corner, so we're down at the very end, you also notice there's some chairs and a desk that is back there as well. So this kind of matches to the other side. So we're gonna make our way over to the other side. You'll notice that this space pretty much mirrors itself. So it's gonna look the same kind of on the one side as it does the other. So as we go across, we're gonna be coming up to the circulation desk. So the circulation desk is a great place for when you have questions, if you wanna check things out, uh, if you wanna check out DVDs or new books um, or anything else from the collection, if you have questions, if you need anything from our reserve shelf, um, you can definitely come here and ask and we can get you set up. So uh, this office right behind the circulation uh, desk is an interlibrary loan office, so that's where you're going to find Zenny. Zenny kind of works a lot with our interlibrary loan, and she's here in the evenings. Right next to her, we have our new books, our newspapers, our leisure reading magazines, and our DVDs that you can check out. So, coming down this way, you'll notice this is exactly kind of the same as the other side. So we have this entire row of just like great places to hang out and study, get your homework done. And then here at the end, we kind of have that, like I said, it kind of matches on both sides. So on this end, we also have a little bit of that kind of right by the windows, gets really great sunshine if you're looking for that. And also some plants. So we're kind of going on the back side now. So on this back side, I'm just gonna point it out. We're gonna be going by the music library. So right here is the music library. And we kind of connect back to the circulation desk. So coming over this way, we have our display. So you'll see this uh, rotates pretty much monthly, um, different themes kind of going on here. And then we have this, this is uh, library staff offices. So in this office, you will find Sue, our library director, and you will find me, Jamie. If we keep going, we're gonna take a little peek here at the St. John's Bible. So the St. John's Bible is a really cool thing that we have here. Um, we'll actually put it out on display when it gets closer to homecoming. So. You'll want to come check that out. So bathrooms. So we've got a bathroom here and we've got a bathroom here. And there's also a little computer lab kind of up here as well if you need to use it. If we come around the corner, we'll peek in a little bit to the archives. Right next to the archives is the elevator. And then if we keep going, Two more spots kind of on our uh, little walk here. So this office, uh, formerly the MMC classroom, is now a library staff office. Uh, this is where you will find Jenny. And then if we kind of make our final turn straight across from Jenny is the IRC. So this is the Instructional Resource Center. So uh, you might be in here if you are maybe taking an education class. Um, Maybe if you're teaching an education class, um, this would be the space that you would be coming to. Um, in this room, you're going to find children's books um, and uh, as well as other like educational materials. Okay, so we've kind of completed the floor. So as I mentioned before, this is the upper floor. Um, so coming in, 
through that rare book room. Um, you can also use the stairs. Um, so we'd love to have you come hang out um, and see this space. And if you have any questions, let us know.